Hello, welcome back to Cami Designs, and today we're going to be finishing up the left-handed crochet towel topper. And so this will be the last video in this segment. So what I've got is I've got I've crocheted my single crochet um, for six inches. So the neck is six inches here. Now what I want to do is I want to work this buttonhole here, and then I'm going to sew the button on. So. What I did is I started, I ended on one of the ends. So with it facing me, I'll work this way here. And what I want to do is I'm actually going to take one stitch out here. And then I'm just going to kind of hold them together here. And I'm just going to single crochet through both sides. So it actually pinches it closed. That one and that one. And I'm just going to do this all the way across here. So in that one, here, and that one there. I just want to make sure to go through both of them. And one more. Okay. And I'll go through this one here on the end. Now what I want to do is I want to chain one for the next row and then turn my work. And I'm going to single crochet on because I want to I want to skip these three center ones. So I'll do three on this side. Then I'm going to chain three. One, two, three three and this will also depend on your button since the button I'm using is fairly long um, I did a chain three um, but if you have a smaller button or something like this you might get, be able to get away with doing a chain two like this one I did just a chain two so I skipped two so it just depends on the button you're using so I'm going to skip three, one, two, three, and I'm going to single crochet in these last three here. Maybe if I can hook my yarn, there we go. So like that. And to test it, I actually just push my button through, see how hard it is to push the button through. And it seems to work fine, so that is what I will work with. And so what I want to do is I want to chain one again turn my work here and I'm going to single crochet in these first three and then I want to do three single crochets into this three chain space here one two and three and then I'm just going to do single crochet into these three right here and then I'm going to chain one, turn my work one more time, and oh, my button wants to roll. And then I'm just going to slip stitch across the top. It's nothing fancy, just enough to kind of hold it all together. And there we have it. And then what I do is I just cut my yarn here. And I'm just going to pull this through and tie it off here. And then this, I'll just go ahead and weave it into my, um, my pattern here. Now for the button, I want to use this same yarn that I used. To knit it and I want to let's say not quite two feet of yarn here I want enough that I can um, go through it a couple times and I have my yarn needle here and I'm just going to pull my yarn through and I'm going to double this I'm not going to tie a knot in it or anything like that oops there we go now, 
Now I gotta figure out where I want to place my button. So if I bring it down here, I want my opening to be big enough that I can put it around the handle of the stove or the fridge or anything like that. And so with these ones, it was just into the neck a little bit. So what I do is I first put my needle through here and then I put my button on it, make sure it's going to be kind of centered. And I don't want to pull my yarn all the way through. I want to leave a little bit of a tail here that I can weave in in the end. And I'm just going to put my needle through. And then I'm just going to keep doing this a few times. I'm just making sure to pull it tight. And usually I'll just keep doing this until I use up almost all my yarn. You can see I'm not really looking at my back here. There we go. And make sure my yarn is right here because I'm gonna we I want to weave that in in the end. I think one more time it should be good. And I'm kind of feeling on the back, on the back side here where my hole is. There it is. Making sure my yarn stays out of the way. And then there we go. Now it's pulled tight. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this off of my needle. Just like that. And then what I do is I'm going to take these, I'm first going to tie them in a knot here and then just pull it tight. And you can double knot if you want. I think I'll double knot it just to be on the safe side. And then I'll just take these and I double them up. Less weaving in I have to do. And I just go in and out of one layer of this. So I'm not going all the way through to the front. And just pull it up through like this. And then just do this until I use up all my yarn on my needle here. And then I'll just pull it and then just cut these little ends off here. And then pull it, and the yarn disappears into the center here. I'll show you one more time on this end here. There we go. And I just pick a spot to weave it in here. And I kind of bunch it up so then I can go a little farther. And I'm just going to cut it here and then pull it. Oops, I got a little bit sticking up still, so I'm going to trim that off there. Be sure not to cut your actual crocheted stuff. And then I will weave in this end, and I'll show you how I do that. I do it just like I just did. But I first go along my top here. And I want to pull it so it's not super tight. And then... I just go in and out here along my side and I'll push it to the back because I would like all my string to be to the back of my work. And this one I'll work this way. Okay, and then I'll just trim that 
there we go and my button fits through there perfect and there we go all done and that is the end of the crochet towel topper so i hope you like this video if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and share it with your friends. This is a really quick and easy um, towel topper, and it's really nice because it's got the double thickness. You don't see that a whole lot. Actually, I don't think I've seen it at all. Um, and that is it. So have a wonderful day, and thank you for watching. Bye!